Knowing the personality of others can help to guide our actions and facilitate our relationship with them. We know that a person's personality is conditioned by their perception and we have to take advantage of this reality to create more efficient and positive relationships. Maria's boss is Edward. After observing him, she comes to the conclusion that he is quite extrovert and relies more on sentiment rather than thought. These two fundamentals mean that Edward has a social nature, which is characterised by him being animated and optimistic, social, creative and innovative, an engine for change, expressive and effusive. Now that Maria knows what Edward is like, she knows that when she talks to him, she shouldn't ask him to follow rigid and bureaucratic rules, bore him with unnecessary details, or give him too many details and analysis. On the contrary, she should strive to be pleasant and interesting, present options in an open and flexible manner, allow him to be the main character, use images rather than text or numbers. The fourth type of personality is called analytical. These people prefer thought and tend to be introverts. They are characterised by being impartial, analysing all the facts and information, preferring order and stability, and needing to have things under control. To communicate with an analytical person, you should prepare your meetings thoroughly, even to the most minute detail bring everything written down, respect their planning and their schedules, and present things in order. If you want to convince them of something, don't improvise. They would consider this to be showing a lack of seriousness. Don't use a cheerful or relaxed tone of voice. These people take things seriously. Don't make them waste their time. Make the most of the time you already have. Avoid invading their private space. In conclusion, identify the personality of the person you have before you. Is he or she direct, social, analytical or personal? And modify your behaviour to adapt to their personality. You will soon see how this improves your ability to communicate with others.